everyone, I'm Aditi here, and in this video, we'll be understanding about music therapy, the fun way. Are you ready? Let's move. Okay, so first, let's play a game. The rules are pretty simple. All you have to do is listen to the pieces of music I'm going to show you. The pieces of music are going to have emotions in them. And you're going to write down or type in the comments what emotion you feel when you hear that piece of music. These emotions can be anything like happiness, sadness, cheerfulness, angriness, and so much more. So are you ready? Let's go on to hear the first piece of music. That was the first piece. That was the second piece. Now let's move on to the third. And that was the third. Now let's rewind. When you heard the first piece, you might have thought of happiness or jolliness or maybe even cheerfulness. For the second piece, you might have thought about sadness or dullness or crying. For the third piece, you might have felt relaxed and peaceful. Did I read your mind? Maybe I didn't. But it's not a coincidence if I did. Music can make you feel many different ways. Now, when you attend a party, you don't hear sad music. But when you attend a funeral, you don't hear jazz. Using this power of music, people have found out ways to soothe the old and elderly and to heal patients. Sometimes, music therapy includes just talking about music. If you're really stressed from school, work, or anything else, go and grab a cup of tea and some earphones. Turn them on to your favorite song and everything will be fine. Music <coughs> therapy can even save lives. People feel much relaxed and that gives their body time to heal. There's this famous quote, music is medicine. Another quote is, where words fail, music speaks. Thank you for watching.